USA Radio News with Tim Berg. Democrats are blocking an extension of the payroll protection program, and Republican Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says this could cost people their jobs. The country cannot afford unnecessary wrangling or political maneuvering. Treating this as a normal bipart- a normal kind of partisan negotiation could literally cost Americans their jobs. Republicans were hoping to add another $250 billion of loans for small businesses to a bill. McConnell had proposed increasing the amount available for banks to loan small businesses by another $250 billion. Defense Secretary Mark Esper says they're doing everything they can to cooperate and coordinate with foreign allies during the coronavirus pandemic. We provided uh, critical medical equipment and uh, humanitarian cargo in the last couple months to allies such as Romania and Italy. You're listening to USA Radio News. I'm doing it all, the water, the fiber, the exercise, but I still have constipation with belly pain, straining and bloating that keeps coming back. My doctor said I may have a chronic medical condition called irritable bowel syndrome with constipation or IBSC. Linzess, linaclotide, is a prescription medication that treats adults with IBS with constipation. Linzess helps relieve belly pain and lets you have more frequent and complete bowel movements. Individual results may vary. Do not give to children less than 6, and it should not be given to children 6 to less than 18. It may harm them. Do not take Linzess if you have a bowel blockage. Get immediate help if you develop unusual or severe stomach pain, especially with bloody or black stools. The most common side effect is diarrhea, sometimes severe. If it's severe, stop taking Linzess and call your doctor right away. Other side effects include gas, stomach area pain, and swelling. Talk to your doctor and learn more at linzess.com. That's L-I-N-Z-E-S-S dot com. Or call 1-800-LINZESS. Doctors on the Coronavirus Task Force have a simple message for everyone. As we hear from USA Radio Network's Chris Barnes. We need to keep mitigating. That's what federal doctor Anthony Fauci says amid the reports that there are some encouraging signs in the United States when it comes to stopping the spread of the coronavirus. He says, Don't get complacent about that. Because what's going to happen two and a half weeks from now is really what's going to happen with regard to the people who are getting new infection. Globally, the number of confirmed cases of the virus is now over 1.5 million, with Johns Hopkins researchers reporting that the number of deaths are approaching 90,000. Georgia is once again delaying its primary elections due to the ongoing coronavirus concerns. After originally postponing the primaries until mid-May, Georgia's extension of state of emergency will push the elections to June 9th. They were initially set for March 24th. And you're listening to USA Radio News. Here's your Georgetown forecast from the HIP Radio Network Weather Center. Overcast skies this afternoon with scattered thunderstorms likely. Highs level off around 88. Winds out of the north, 8 to 15 miles per hour. Chance for scattered thunderstorms tonight. Lows dip down to about 59. Overcast. Cloudy skies expected tomorrow. Chance for ice-slitted storms. Daytime highs approaching 71. That's a look at your forecast. I'm meteorologist Paul Frombley. Currently, it's 90 degrees. That's not accurate. It's not 90 degrees, friends. Here we go. We're going to get started now. (laughs) Five, four, three, two, one. The switch is Welcome to Good Morning Georgetown with Rob and Ken, waking you up in the mornings and getting your day started with the hottest hits, news, and jokes. Get ready. And now here's your host, Rob Hip and Ken Covington. Well, uh, happy 90 degrees outside this morning. Totally ignore that. Sometimes our weather feed, which is a great service, by the way, it's accurate on the station. But when I bring it on to Good Morning Georgetown, for whatever reason, sometimes it likes to delay 90 degrees. It's a hot morning here on Hip Radio Network. Hey, good morning, Georgetown, and welcome to the show, everybody. Time now, 8.16 a.m. I hope you are Ready to rock and roll on a Friday, on a good Friday at that. And uh, just wishing everybody out there this morning your uh, just tremendous blessings as we're all trying to work hard and get through this whole COVID-19 pandemic today. I'm excited this morning because, number one, we get to chat with you, all of you out there in Georgetown. But then number two, 
got a really good friend on the show. Possibly, I would put her in the top five category of nicest people that I know. And I say that because I know about five, I know four other really nice people. I know a lot of nice people. This is George, Georgetown's top five nicest, maybe number one on the show this morning. But we're going to put her right there where she belongs. She is a great person, someone who cares about this community. Good morning, Tori Clark. What's up, Tori? <laughs> Hey, good morning, Rob. How's it going this morning? I am doing wonderful, and uh, thank you for your patience this morning. We had a little bit of uh, tech difficulty, but we got everything up and running. I think the uh, the storms, did you have any internet outage last night from the storms at your residence? You live in Georgetown. You know, no, I live in, uh, I live right in the middle of Old Town, so we didn't have any outages at all, but I'm telling you something, the wind was crazy. Yeah, there was, I, I posted some storm reports on our Hip Radio Network, Georgetown uh, Facebook page yesterday. I was asking, hey, did you have any storm damage? And a lot of people responded with some pretty considerable storm damage from their houses. You know, Tori, there was some there was some video coming out of Gerald. And uh, I love the folks up at Gerald. I talk about that all the time on the show. But, man, there was uh, some houses up there that got some roof damage, a lot of roof damage. Those winds were blowing, some of them gusting up to 70 to 75 miles per hour. Oh, I saw that. I saw some of the footage that you posted. And then um, I think it was Cave You posted a video, too, where a viewer had sent in um, some footage that they captured. And it, it was insane. I saw trees were down and people's fences were blown over. I just, uh, you know, I didn't think the storm was going to be that bad. And then I saw pictures in Gerald and wow, it's pretty intense. I was out uh, here yesterday and the remote ashby real estate broadcast studio from my house where i've been working during this whole COVID 19 pandemic and i'd shot a little bit of video there early and the trees were whipping around and it got pretty cool pretty quick and then all of a sudden it i was like oh this isn't that bad it even got a little bit lighter and then all of a sudden i don't know what happened it was whoosh and my fiance calls me she goes hey something just slammed into the side of the house really i was like oh no a tree because out here in serenata there's trees everywhere and in fact, I've been here for 15 years now, and I'm going to tell you something, Tori. I the the folks behind me have 14 acres. We're on a cul-de-sac, about three quarters of an acre. Somebody's probably going to get mad because I'm going to say we have fires in our backyard. There's you know somebody will get mad about that. And but every neighbor out here, we have little you know little backyard fires that we put together. And I have not once ever bought firewood because the trees always come down. So we always got plenty of wood. And then on top of that, when it comes a huge rain, the rain, like it'll make a creek in my backyard. And then everyone else's wood flows on down, baby, just flows down the river to my backyard. So I've never had to buy wood. So if you ever need any wood, just holler at me and we'll hook you up, Tori. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's how it goes, man. Hey, but I wanted to talk to you this morning, Tori. You're one of our awesome, amazing sponsors here. And it's not just that. It's more importantly, your friend. You do a lot for our community. I wanted to have you on this morning. Tori Clark of Spa Lux, online at spalux.com. That's L-U-X-E. Tori, talk a little bit about, you've been on the show before uh, a couple of months ago. Just kind of reintroduce yourself and how you got to Georgetown and you and your lovely wife. Y'all got a little baby coming too, so we want to hear about that, if you don't mind. Sure, yeah. So, um, yeah, let's talk about the baby first because that's definitely <laughs> the most exciting thing in my life right now. Uh, my wife is pregnant with our very first child, um, a little boy. His name is Boston James, and we're going to welcome Boston into the world. Um, she will be induced on the 20th, so we expect that uh, he'll be here the 21st. Um, so, yeah, that's super exciting times for me. And uh, let's see. So, yeah, a little about me. I've been in Georgetown, uh, I guess, like, probably going on six years now and been around central Texas most of my life. But, you know, we started small Lux from a place of need. Everyone needs a wellness sanctuary and we wanted to bring that to our community. We love to kind of explain ourselves as being an experiential spa. And what that means is basically we're, we're very much like a resort setting spa, but without the, the resorts. Yeah. And you know, whenever, whenever we had first started, uh, helping you invest in sponsorship here on HRN, 
you gave me a tour of of your facility and it's just beautiful it's located over by the sheraton hotel so very convenient for folks that are there but then also very convenient for everyone in georgetown you know that whole area commercially is growing now with the 2020 scratch market and all those things happening so talk a little bit about just being in that area and and how good that that has been i know up until the COVID 19 of course things have been rough we'll talk about that here in a little bit for a lot of business folks and and we definitely want to want to help you out this morning because we know of some ways that we can help but talk a little bit just about that area and how cool that that's been being in that in that area tori sure so um you know novak commercial built that area and they did such an amazing job because it really is a beautiful um a beautiful complex it's called the summit and um So the Sheraton Hotel is, of course, a feeder for some of the businesses there. But I can tell you from from my point of view, and this isn't for any for every tenant there, but for me, the Sheraton is only about five percent of our business. Mm -hmm. We built for the community. So really, our core demographic is Georgetown residents. Um, And I and I know that that is the case for a lot of the businesses in the summit, such as Orange Theory, for example. But we have uh, we have a lot of new great tenants. So 2020 is an amazing new restaurant uh, that just opened. There's also a um, like Japanese wine bar and bistro, Ikiro. It just opened. Oh my gosh! Right before the the COVID nineteen situation started, so they literally opened for a couple of weeks and then you know had to close right back up. And Pink Poppy, you know Kay Briggs, she um, she just moved from from the square into the summit. So there's been some great businesses coming in and bringing a lot of traffic into that area. And they just started valet parking service for everyone. Um, So any business that you, that you go to there, there's complimentary valet, which is nice. And they're starting to build a parking garage and they're building a whole nother part of the summit, which is, I think it's uh, three stories. If I remember right, maybe three or four, but the first floor is all retail and then everything above that um, will be uh, really beautiful lofts. So they're bringing in kind of a mixed use site over there, which will be great for everybody because we do need a few more housing options. You know, we have apartments, we have, uh, you know, we have, you know, housing, of course, but something with like the lofts, it's a little bit more higher in where you're looking for kind of that downtown feel, but you don't want to be in downtown Austin. It's a, it's going to be a great fit for our community. Yeah, it's really cool how it, how it's all growing around there and you're right in the heart of it with spa lux again we're talking to tori clark this morning of spa lux online at spa lux.com that's l-u-x-e spa lux.com as it's always a honor and a privilege to have you on the show this morning you know tori I, your facility is amazing real quick before we go any further i'm going to play the the commercial spot because i love your commercial spot that you put together we need to get that we'll get that updated now uh coming up here you know once you and i can see each other again in person that's what i've I've, man, I'm, <laughs> it might be a while yeah i'm hating that right <laughs> now but i'm going to go ahead and play your commercial spot we produced this a couple of months ago for you and here is tori's commercial spot just to give you as the listeners out there a better idea and i want you if, as you're listening to this commercial I want everyone out there that's listening to really just pause a moment and relax because that's the whole point of a spa is just to relax and be comfortable. So take a quick moment and relax and listen to this commercial. Hey, Georgetown family. This is Tori Clark, co-founder of Spa Lux. I want you to take a moment and breathe. Imagine you have arrived at Spa Lux and it's time to reconnect with yourself. Your journey begins in this supportive and nurturing space when you are greeted by one of our spa butlers who will assist to design your personalized wellness experience. Spa Lux offers only the finest spa services using natural and innovative products. Let us help you achieve your wellness goals. For more information, visit SpaLux.com. Again, that's SpaLux.com. Tori, I just I love that spot because one, it's just that's the whole point of a of a spa is to relax. And what oh, you're absolutely. what you're offering at your at your spa is it's not the traditional spa experience. It is a very personalized experience where you feel very important from the moment you walk in. You know, I was walking in before we really got to know each other and I was I was offering you an opportunity to invest in sponsorship and normally when people come in you know trying to knock on your door and sell something like ah just go on but you're like hey come here man let's give me a hug and I was like this is great man this is awesome and and just your staff and everyone had that same attitude that no matter who you were 
you felt welcome. Talk a little bit about that and what really makes you guys unique because it's something beautiful. Sure. Thanks. Well, yeah, big shout out to you for that commercial because uh, a lot of uh, listeners don't know this, but we recorded that commercial in one of our treatment rooms. Uh, it was awesome. You're so talented that you can literally, I, I watched you sit there and splice everything and put it all, you know, all into a, a file on the spot. It was, it was amazing just to watch you do that. So I had a lot, I had a lot of fun with you recording that. So spa Lux, you know, from the moment you walk in, everything is very intentional. And, um, what I found out through all of my research in spa is consistency is key. And our guests, they crave consistency. You know, when they, when they come into the spa and they have a massage or they have a facial, whichever one they choose, um, or, or a nail service or even a body treatment, everything has a very specific protocol. So if you have, you know, massage therapist A and three weeks later you come in and you see massage therapist B, you'll have a very similar experience because while, while they're free to use modalities that they deem necessary in the, in the massage to help you, you know, relieve pain or tension, there's still a lot of touch points that they have to follow. Um, and our, our guests love that. And we've created an amazing culture within our spa that really embodies um, serving our guests. And when you're there, you know, we call our front desk, we don't call them, you know, front desk team or concierge. We call them spa butlers because really they're there to serve you. And that's the whole purpose of Spa Lux is, is to serve you and be there for you on your wellness journey. Um, my experience before opening Spa Lux is that I really craved being at a spa just because that was the only place that I could relax. You know, I was in corporate America. Um, I owned a large transportation company mm -hmm. and it was very stressful for me. So anytime I really just had an off week, I would find myself, you know, scheduling a massage. And when I would lay on the massage table and they would start the massage, my brain would shut off. And that is an experience that I can't explain to you. You just have to experience it for yourself. But we wanted to bring that to our Georgetown community because there wasn't a full service spa that really was dedicated to your well-being and had amenities that are like a resort. You know, we have complimentary beverage service. Our meditation lounge is just, is amazing to just relax in. And uh, you can spend time in our complimentary sauna as well. And a lot of amenities that we offer are usually an additional cost. So we didn't want that. We want you to have a full experience. Um, get into your plush robe and sandals and just spend the day with us. Whether you're coming in for a brow wax, literally a 15 minute brow wax, or you're coming in for, you know, a two hour massage. We want you to spend the whole day, just relax. That's, that's what spa is for. Yeah. And I think that, that whole attitude of, of just come in and relax is what it's all about. And you've got that really awesome, you know, we were, when, when we had you in studio last time you were talking about this, we were talking about just, there's a, there's a room there. You could come and stay all day if you want, you know, you can have you a can, mimosa if you yeah. want. So talk a little bit more about that. Just why is it so important to relax and to de-stress? And then, and then we're going to talk a little bit more about how folks can help you right now and, and kind of what this COVID-19 is, is, has been affecting a lot of businesses, especially yours. So tell us a little bit about that first. Why is it so important to relax and just settle down and the benefits of spa? Sure. So, um, you know, we are so connected, like our generation is just connected. Um, anyone who is, who is living in today's modern world, they have not one, not two, but you know, on average three to five electronic devices. And we're always connected to at least one, you know, mainly our cell phone, maybe an iPad, um, or desktop if you're at work, but we're always in front of a computer. We're always looking at a screen. And uh, that builds a lot of tension and we don't take enough time for ourselves to just disconnect. And, you know, the part of the part of us that, that is, you know, always craving, you know, social media or connecting with people. Well, there's another side of us that equally craves not necessarily, you know, an isolated, an isolated time for ourselves, but a dedicated time for self care. And at Spa Lux, we really, really encourage you to just disconnect from the outside world and be able to center yourself and focus on you because 
quite frankly, we don't focus on ourselves enough. Um, it's not a selfish thing to do. You know, they always say self-care is not selfish. It's definitely a necessity for people. And that's why Spa Lux exists, to make sure that your wellness journey is, is for you, quite frankly, and you have that time for yourself. It's also a great way to to reconnect with someone else. So if you have a family member in town, or maybe it's your anniversary, or it's a friend's birthday, it's really nice to bring them into Spa Lux. You, you can both relax in our meditation lounge and spend as much time as you want just talking and, and catching up. It's a really relaxing experience um, to reconnect with another person as well as yourself. And that's my favorite part about Spa is you can connect with anyone through Spa because it just allows you to let down your guard and really focus on the time at hand. Yeah, I'm showing a video right now on the screen, and it's it's really relaxing me, and it, hopefully it's relaxing everybody else out there this morning. It's uh, it's the video from your Facebook page. By the way, follow them on Facebook at Spa Lux. It's S-P-A-L-U-X-E. I put a link on our Facebook for those of you that are joining us, but that video is very professionally uh, done there. Everything that you guys do is just bar none, top of the line, Tori, from the facility to the videos, the marketing. I mean, it's just a, it's a, you, you guys are a rock star. I don't know how to say it other than that. And this video makes me right now, I, you may want to take that video down because some people may see that and be like, I'm relaxed. <laughs> you know, they may not, they may say, well, we've saw the video. We're already relaxed enough, but there's even, there's more. <laughs> so no, I it's think it's so funny because that is a lot of people's reaction to this video. And, um, I, um, uh, so part of our social media, especially our videos, they are filmed and created by Rachel Hancock with Something Social. Rachel always does a phenomenal job for anyone she works with. And um, when I told Rachel about my idea for that video, I said, hey, I want a video that you know shows a facial in action, but, but how relaxing it is. Because a lot of people think about spa and they think, oh, I can go get a massage and that's super relaxing. But a facial is just as relaxing. Um, Everything that that uh, that we incorporate into a facial is very similar to what we incorporate into a massage. So like our signature facial, for example, is my favorite because we call it a head to toe massage. I mean, where can you get a head to toe massage? You literally have a facial, but you also get a massage kind of built into it for your for your wow. legs, your feet, your arms, your hands, your upper neck. I mean, it's it's a phenomenal facial. So that video was developed to show people that a massage is super relaxing, but try a facial because it, it can, it can really blow your mind at how relaxing it is. Yeah. That's, that's tremendous and really cool. And you know, back in the day you'd go to some, you'd go to some spas and it was like, okay, upper body, 30 bucks, middle body, this and lower body and feet, this. So it was kind of broken up into three sections and, and you guys have done just a great job taking care of people's entire body and making sure that they are relaxed and that they're taken care of and and that Tori I wanted to I wanted to ask you this morning I know that this whole COVID-19 pandemic you know it's affected a lot of people in a lot of ways um you know for us in marketing of course and advertising it's it's we want to provide a platform to continue to promote business but it's how do you promote business when business may not be open to the public and that's the challenges that we're facing, but we're trying to help folks and, and really find ways to help that. And for your business, of course, you guys, I don't believe, have been open. And so talk a little bit about that and just how COVID-19 has affected your business and maybe some of the things that you're working on that would also encourage other business owners who may be in the same situation that you're in. You know, every time there is a challenge, whether it's something like the virus that we're facing or, um, or a turn in the economy, any challenge that is presented to a business owner, it's really a time that um, calls for evolution and creativity. So there are a lot of businesses out there that are doing a phenomenal job with, you know, recreating themselves. In times like this, this is the best opportunity for you to recreate yourself um, and, and try something that you know what, you may not have thought would ever work before. And you, know, you see so many people who are building uh, like online stores and that sort of thing. And before they may have been a little scared to do that, but now it's almost out of a necessity mm -hmm. for them. But it's something that will help them 
down the road as well. You know, for for us at the spa, it, it's a little different as far as you know. We are very much face to face. We're customer facing, so it's difficult to translate that into the internet, right? But at the same time, you know, we're still selling gift cards. We're still selling services um, through uh, through spalux.com. And, you know, a lot of people have asked, well, why don't you sell product? Well, the problem is a lot of our products, the manufacturers that we buy from, they're small, either very small local companies or, um, or you know, more like mom and pop mm-hmm. companies. And unfortunately, they're being hit too. So if we sell product and we sell out, out of our product, then when we reopen, we have no product. So there are also, you know, there are many people who are going through that same kind of um, kind of chaotic situation. But at the same time, what we're working on behind the scenes is we're we're very much so fine tuning our protocols. Um, you know, we have, I talk about that all the time with the consistency of Spalux. We literally have, you know, a protocol book um, for everything. So from, from the way our, our guests are greeted to the way we answer the phone to the way we write a thank you card. I mean, everything is very much done with an intention. So we're spending a lot of time, um, we're spending a lot of time kind of breaking up tasks for our management team to fine tune all of our processes. Um, of course, catch up on some things like uh, like filing and we've been doing a lot of maintenance at the spa. So it's a great time to kind of get your honeydew list completed. But we're also looking into the financial side. Mm-hmm. You know, every every small business owner is, um, if you're considered a quote unquote non-essential business, this has probably hurt you. Even as an essential business, that can, this can still hurt you because people really are are not getting getting out as much um, with social distancing, of course. So. The financial side, you know, I really encourage business owners to do exactly what I've done. You want to get out there and apply for the paycheck protection loan, apply for the emergency, you know, the emergency disaster loans, apply for any grants that you can find. Because the reality is, is, you know, we don't know how long this is going to go on and and making sure that you have enough capital to keep to keep going is key for any small business. Um, That's my my biggest piece of advice. And and don't be scared to ask for uh, to ask for help, either from your landlord or or your banking partners. We're all in this together. And if we if we work together for the greater good, we will all come out um, even stronger than before. And I and I genuinely believe that. Yeah, I think your words are are so encouraging, Tori, to all the other business owners out there is we just got to work together. You know, we're holding that online auction coming up in May, and, and I appreciate you and your business and folks have stepped up and have donated items to the auction to help out because there's a lot of businesses in the community that maybe aren't a brick and mortar. They may work out of their home, and we've talked about this. They may they may not be incorporated, and there's a wonderful city grant that if you're in the city limits, if you're incorporated and you have a physical location, meaning you don't work from home, those grants, you can apply to those, which is tremendous. And I encourage any business in Georgetown that falls under those three categories of the requirements to apply for those grants. It's going to be something that will be beneficial. I think it's you can receive up to $5,000 in grant money, which that will go a long way. And when we say grant money, it's my understanding that's money you don't have to pay back because there's a lot that's of yeah, there's a lot of loan programs out there and deferment and those kind of things. But uh, the reality is it's going to be really hard for a lot of folks and and the true reality is a lot of folks aren't going to make it and we've got to be there and we've got to step up and we have got to help those but i believe not only of course in this country i don't want to like you know pull out the american flag and wave hey i believe in america but we but i do you know i really do i believe in this country and then more importantly i believe in this community tory there are so many wonderful people here in georgetown that have continuously and constantly stepped up when the call was needed when the call was there they have answered that call and i think that we're going to see something tremendous happen over all of this after we get out of it so there for those companies that don't and those businesses that don't fall into those categories that's why we're holding that online auction and look i'll be honest even if you're a business that does fall into that category and you're just 
honest and you said, look, I need help, we'll help you. Okay. That's what, that's what it's about. And it's folks like Tory and Spa Lux and, and other companies who are stepping up and helping with that. I think we've, we're closing in on about $5,000 and donated items. We need, of course, a lot more than that. And so just as Tory has done in Spa Lux, if you have any items that you can donate, let us know at hrngeorgetown.com forward slash auction. That is hrngeorgetown.com forward slash auction but we're talking to Tori I just wanted to plug that really quick because it kind of it kind of leads in to our next conversation as we continue to talk to Tori Clark here of Spa Lux Tori one way that you guys are getting through this right now I believe that you're working on selling gift cards and and some of that as well that that is benefiting your business of course but then your employees as well can you talk a little bit about that and right now is a call to action for our listeners and those that are on Facebook live especially this morning how can they help your business right now Tori Sure. That's a great question. Um, so our, our guests are phenomenal. Let's just start with that. Our guests and, and our community, you know, we, we put out through social media and you gave us a lot of shout outs as well, Rob, is whenever you purchase a gift card right now on spalux.com, 20% of your gift card purchase goes directly to our team. Um, and what we're doing is we're, we're taking that number we're dividing it out by our team members and we're equally giving them um, uh, their 20%. And uh, I just ran payroll uh, on, on Monday and our, our guests are so generous that the amount of money that, uh, that they, that, that they spent with spa Lux, the 20% for our team equivalented to like a full tank of gas for most people and anything, anything helps. So, it's really about when you purchase a gift card, you're helping our team, but you're also helping yourself because you're purchasing a relaxing moment for the future. And that's something that no one can take away from you. And I can guarantee you after this, you're going to need some time for, uh, for yourself to just really get back out there because you think you're isolated right now, but it causes a lot of tension not being able to you know, see people or interact um, and so I, I think right after this, any service company, whether it's, you know, salon or spa, or anything like that, they're, they're going to be crazy busy because number one, everyone's craving relaxation during a stressful time. But number two, you know, people's nails and hair are probably getting a little crazy by now, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, well, Tori, I wanted to just say real quick on the Facebook live stream, I've put a link there. Uh, we've got quite a few folks that are joining us on Facebook Live. I know some of you may be coming back to this on the podcast because, by the way, this show now is also in a podcast format that we usually upload about an hour or two after it's over. That's available on iTunes, Spotify. We're getting ready to put that into Google so you can search for Good Morning Georgetown. You can always go back and listen to shows. So there may be some of you right now that says, I wasn't watching this live. So it's kind of weird. I'm talking to you right now in the future, but in the present. Does that kind of make sense? Uh, so here's the thing. Uh, if you're on Facebook Live, you can see it. If not, and you're listening and you're on the app, you can't see it. If you're available, just consider those Spalux gift cards. Again, Tori said that 20% of the proceeds will go to her employees during this time. I've made it super simple. Of course, you can go to Spalux.com. That's S-P-A-L-U-X-E.com. I've made it super simple, Tori, and I hope you don't mind me doing this. I've made it really simple to go directly to that gift card section. All that you have to do is go to tinyurl.com forward slash spa lux gift. That is tinyurl.com forward slash spa lux gift. And it's spelled S P A L U X E. So tinyurl.com forward slash spa lux gift. And that'll take you right to the ordering section for those gift cards. Of course, we want to drive traffic to your website as well, but we wanted to give radio listeners out there and the audio listeners an opportunity to get there immediately. If you go to the website at spalux.com, you can also click on gift cards uh, at the top. Tori, I think that's a great way. We're seeing a lot of businesses that may not be able to be open right now that are offering gift cards and, and that. How is that? I just wanted to ask you, if you don't want me asking, how has that been? You, you said earlier that the community is stepping up. You've had some folks ordering that. Talk a little bit more just about that and maybe some other ideas that you have at this time. Sure. So, you know, it's, um, it's difficult with gift cards because of course, a lot of people, that's the only, that's the only thing that, that they can sell. Like I know a lot of restaurants, um, they're, they're evolving, but they're also selling gift cards. There's a lot of retail stores that are selling gift cards. So 
really the uh, gift card selling competition is pretty high. But what I always tell people is support local anyway, any way that you can. Whether if you have if you have an additional you know fifty dollars to spend, split that up between you know a, a few different companies. You may buy you know a twenty dollars spa gift card, a twenty dollars gift card to Pink Poppy, you know a ten dollars gift card to Schlotzky's or something like that. You know your dollar really can stretch a lot further to help these small businesses because you know a dollar goes a long way for a lot of people and it's important to support your local community um for for us really the evolution comes comes with our team our team is really working behind the scenes right now to ensure that our guests experience is is even more incredible when you arrive and a lot of the things that we're doing quite frankly rob we can't do when the spa is open um we've had you know GTEx Plumbing and um, and Jerome with with Eagles Wings Home Improvement. We've had so many we've had so many contractors in and out of our spa over the past uh, the past few weeks, just doing maintenance. And really, for spas, it's hard to find that that time. So I encourage business owners if there's a to do list that you have, get it done because. There, there may not be another time like this where you you have some extra time on your hand to to really make sure that your facility and your business is is running as efficiently as it can. This is a time where you can really create efficiencies and spend that time wisely because you're not going to get this back. And this opportunity is, I'm hoping, is once in a lifetime. So. Just make sure as a business owner that you're using your time as wisely as you can. Tori, I always, I always enjoy the positive twist because you were talking about, you know, this is, of course, this COVID-19 pandemic is affecting a lot of people, um, but it's but it's benefiting a lot of people in the sense that we're coming together as a community, that we are spending more time with our families. And so we've always got to look at the positive in things. For me, in a marketing and advertising standpoint, and as a marketing and sales professional in that aspect, I think there's never been a better time than right now to promote your business. And I'm not just saying that, you know, to get people to say, oh, I need to run a, I need to partner with HRN. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying wherever you're at with our local newspapers and print media with the Williamson County Sun and there's so many others. I really, truly believe that there has never been a better time to promote your business because people, they want to help right now. They want to get involved. They want to support local business. And of course, that's what we're all about here on HRN. But there are so many people that want to get involved and that want to help right now. And and I know that cash is tight and that things are rough, but there's there's opportunities with your businesses. I think right now, promotions, there's never been a better time for promotions in marketing and sales because what you have the opportunity to do is to capture an audience, an audience that is eager to help and that wants to help. And I've learned, Tori, in sales that there's some people that they want to help. They just want you to tell them that they want to help. And, and that's true. <laughs> I mean, I, that's so true because there's been people that have talked to me and, you know, in my mind, I'm like, I really don't want to do this, but I'm waiting for them to ask me or to tell me what to do. And and sometimes I think we need that. And so I truly believe that there's never been a better time than right now to really promote your business and what you're trying to do and accomplish, especially uh, for a company like yours that has gift cards and, and, and those things, because it's an opportunity for folks to get involved, to help out. But then guess what? When we're over all this, Man, your place is going to be flooded with people using those gift cards. They want to help, <laughs> so we're, it's know, going to be exciting. You know, I, I I agree with you that um, something that you said is key is is advertising right now is it's the it's the best time and it's the best opportunity. And the reason I say that is because you have you know you have upwards of forty to fifty percent of America right now that they're they're at home they they're not going anywhere so whether it's through radio or print or social media everyone is staying connected because it's really an unprecedented time right but the common sense aspect of it is you have everyone's attention so use your platforms wisely um and support local if you can. If you can afford a sponsorship, you know, with 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 HRN, it's a great it's a great way to go because you have so many listeners now, Rob, who are really, you know, they're really craving something that is is non biased and that's local and something that that people can really trust. Um, so using your marketing dollars wisely right now if you have those marketing dollars is, the, is one of the best choices that you can make. Yeah. And I think there's a, there's a lot of folks, you know, that are offering discounts and advertising and different promotions right now. And I'm a member of an organization 
uh, it's called the Radio Advertising Bureau, and they send us so much information just with numbers and statistics. And they said right now, alcohol, and I, I mean, this is, you know, you, you think about this and you know that it's true, but they said alcohol sales right now are up something like 76%. Because people are just sitting at home. I mean, what else are they going to do? And, and all these restaurants are delivering alcohol now. So if you're in the beverage industry, now is a great time to promote what you are offering. Oh, absolutely. You know, I believe that. And they also, um, I forgot the article I was reading a, about a week ago. It said that Texans are consuming the most beer of anyone during, during this pandemic. So, I, you know, Texans love their beer, right? So it's, it was just funny to me to see that. But per capita, I think we've always probably consumed the most beer in Texas, but but definitely right now we are we have beat everyone. I've I've never partaken in the H E B Frio beer, uh, you know, but uh that's that's the way to Hey, there's cheap beer out there that some people may say that's great. I'm not knocking you if you're a Frio beer drinker, go for it, you know? What does Frio mean? It means cold. <laughs> and what does a lot of people say? Cold beer. So there you go. You get your Frio. That's good marketing right there. But you know, there, there's opportunities again for for your business to really to really put itself out there right now. And Tori is is doing that with her business. And what I really enjoy, Tori, also is the way that not only business owners are stepping up right now, such as yourself, but the way that business owners are being creative in the way that they are doing things. You had mentioned earlier a lot of businesses setting up online stores, and then what you're doing as far as still helping your employees, finding a way to get them a little bit of revenue on the side. I wanted to ask you from a business owner standpoint, what has kind of been the mindset of your employees right now, just from a business owner standpoint? You know, um, I cannot ask for a better team. Uh, My team is, I always say this to everyone, our team is second to none. They're, They're really just the most supportive and genuine people. You know, I've been involved in a lot of different industries, and spa people, they're just so loving and compassionate. And um, we have a group text that we all, we, we literally, we talk every day. So, you know, someone will, will share a funny story or a funny picture or just some thoughts on what they're going through or, hey, I've, I've been doing this, but I need help. There's a grant right now for... Um, for massage therapists and, and people in the spa community. And I sent it to my team because it's a thousand dollar grant and they, they can apply for it. So, you know, we're all kind of um, helping each other. And the great thing with, with, I call them the Lux tribe. So the great thing with the Lux tribe is just the fact that they're very cohesive and they're very much like a family and most small businesses that, that have those smaller teams, meaning, you know, 25 or less, they, they have that family mindset. And um, the support that they've given me is just amazing. My, you know, my team, they, even though we're all going through this rough time together, they uplift me. And it's, it's really a blessing if you have a team that looks out for you the way you look out for them. And it's a mutual relationship in, in a sense that you're both looking out for each other. You are really blessed because it's hard to find a team like that. And I just, I, it really almost makes me want to tear up because they're just beautiful, incredible people. And I can't thank them enough for their support. A lot of people could be sitting at home right now, upset and mad, um, you know, with their employer or the world or, or whomever. But our team is is super uplifting and they're positive and they're posting funny stuff all, all the time to to just make each other laugh. And I just I love it. And I feel like if you if you haven't created that community with uh, with your with your employees, with your team, your tribe, you this is a great time to do that. Yeah, I think it's important to be around each other and 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 just to encourage each other and lift each other up. I'm going to plug something really quick, and I had, I had just sent John Montgomery a message. You know, Tori, I, I, I got to know you, of course, through social media, but then more so being a guest at the Georgetown BNI group, and I really enjoyed that. And I'm going to tell you what, you talk about a group of people, and I'm, I'm a member of a lot of great organizations. One of them that I really have a heart for, of course, is the Rotary Club. I love Rotary and what we do in Rotary. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce and the fine work that they do, and and just getting involved. I'm not I'm not a member of the Sertoma Club, but I'll be speaking to the Sertoma Club next week on a. I believe it's going to be a virtual meeting, and I'm excited about that. But I've been a guest at the Georgetown BNI group, 
and you guys have embraced me as if I was one of the members, and it's been incredible. And I just sent John a message, and I was thinking about this because I have ADD, and my brain is always shooting fireworks everywhere, Tori. While I was talking to you, though, there's been a lot of folks in that BNI group that have just been tremendous helping each other out. And I see that. And I told John, I said, look, man, you know, things are still rough for me right now as they are so many people, but I want to put really my money where my mouth is. And I told John, I said, Hey, can you send me the application? Cause I'm going to officially finally put in the application to be a part of that BNI group. Because as I said earlier, and it would be so hypocritical of me to say that there's never been a better time than right now to get involved in organizations like that. There's never been a better time right now than, than to advertise and promote and so I told John, I said, hey, send me the application. So I'm looking forward to officially, you know, I know you've got to go through a vetting process, but officially I'm looking forward to being a part of that group, Tori. So I just want to say I appreciate you and, and that entire group because there's so many wonderful people. Talk a little bit about just the friendships that you have made in an organization such as BNI because it's been incredible and I've seen it. It's really awesome. You know, BNI, so first off, BNI stands for Business Networking International. And um, BNI is a worldwide, uh, basic, basically, BNI is a worldwide networking organization. Uh, I love it. I discovered BNI maybe about um, a year ago, maybe a, a little, maybe a little more. But, you know, we meet, we meet every Tuesday. Right now, we're doing you know, virtual Zoom meetings. And there's uh, about 30, 35 members in our group. And, and these groups can be as small as 20 and as large as, you know, 60 or 70 members. But the amazing thing is it's one person per industry. So for example, you know, I have a spa, I'm the only spa owner there. You know, there's a salon, salon owner in the group, um, plumbers in the group. So there's one person per industry. So it makes for really great networking because you can build really deep connections with someone. Um, and you're not, you're not necessarily competing against any of your friends in the group. I've made friends. I've, you know, passed a lot of business to other members. Other members have passed a lot of business to me. Mm -hmm. It's a really great opportunity for anyone who's looking to grow their business. Um, and not only just grow your business, but make those really deep rooted connections with people. And I'm glad to hear that you're, um, that you're putting in your application because, you know, I genuinely feel like BNI has, has really helped me in my business. And if you're someone who, who says, Oh man, I'm not great at networking. This is a great group for you <laughs> because I, because I can tell you, I didn't find myself to be the best networker, but they really bring you out of your shell and help you to uh, really um, hone in on what it is to be a great business owner. Every, uh, every meeting, we have an educational moment where um, our education leader it talks about something that that really can help you in your business. And this last week, we talked about you know how how to network and and, and really expand your network at this time. And BNI is a great way to do that in general. Awesome. Well, I just wanted to give an opportunity there to plug that because I mean I've I have had several members from just that organization alone sponsor this station, and without you guys, we wouldn't have really got off the ground to be honest. You know and. And I wanted to say, too, that I'll be honest with you, you know, as this whole I'm confident in what we do, just like you're so confident in your business and the way that you run things and take care of things. And I think that's important to have that level of confidence, because the most important thing is for you is that it keeps you pushing forward, knowing that, hey, we may be in a dark day, but we can always find light. And how many know that you can be in a room that is pitch black? And if one little bead of light shines in that room. That is the most important thing in that room. And I always have a message of encouragement, a message of hope, especially today on a good Friday. And that is what I want the message today of this show to be. And I don't think there's anybody that could do it better or, or have a better presence on this show than Tori this morning talking about this is that are you that light in somebody's life in a moment of darkness? Now, as a believer, I believe that Christ, of course, is that ultimate light. But I'm going to tell you right now that here on earth, whether you're a believer or not, you have an opportunity to be that light as well as, as far as that goes, as far as showing people that there's an opportunity, showing people that they have an opportunity to do something great and just being that positive light that they need 
in this world, especially right now. Like I said, I don't want to take away because as a believer, I'm going to straight up tell you, and you guys know me as a believer, I'm going to straight up tell you that Jesus is the ultimate light. I'm not trying to say that you can be that great light. I'm not preaching to you this morning, but I'm just straight up telling you that's what I believe. But if you're a non-believer or not, look, guys, you have an opportunity to be that light. And I think that's so important right now because we need There's a lot of people, Tori, that may not have that opportunity to be that light, but they need to see that in somebody else. And so that's my encouragement for you today is how are you? What are you doing? How are you doing? Where are you making an impact? You know, on the show the other day, Tori, I said that we are where we're at because of somebody else. That is so true. We are where we're at because of somebody else. Somebody else today, they may need your light. So shine that light for them. That's all I'm going to say, you know, shine the light. Amy Grant said it best, uh, uh, what was it? The, the can't keep the candle burning. You got to keep the candle burning. <laughs> you know, it's God is that ultimate light. But, you know, if you're a believer, we we all have a part of that light. Right. So we're all maybe we're not the sun, but we're a flashlight <laughs> and everyone has that flashlight that they can shine at, at a dark moment. And all you have to do is believe in believe in God and, and believe in yourself because we're all made in his image. Well, Tori, appreciate you this morning. Wanted to give you a final opportunity. How can people find out more about you? How can they help right now? We'll give you one opportunity again. It is Tori Clark of Spa Lux. Oh, thanks, Rob. You know, go into spalux.com. You can click gift certificates. You can purchase a gift certificate to use in the future. And 20% of those gift card sales goes towards helping our team directly to them. Um, It's been a pleasure as always, Rob, being on the show with you. Great energy. It's a lot of fun. And just a a word of encouragement for other business owners and, and individuals alike. We will get through this together everyone out there, we're all going through the same thing. And, and, you know, I kind of find comfort in knowing that my fellow man is, is looking out for me now more than ever. And I truly believe that this beautiful, good, good Friday, you know, blessings to everyone and let your light shine bright. You're not the sun, but you're a flashlight because you're, you're a part of God. He made you and created you in his own light. And think about that every time you're having a dark moment, there's not dark days and there's not dark years. There's dark moments. Yeah. And we all have we all have a light. And you're right. Shine that light at a time like this in that dark moment. It dissipates. And just remember what Amy Grant said. Keep the candle burning. She the way she said keep keep the candle burning. If you don't know that song, <laughs> go look at it, man. It's pretty incredible. Well, Tori, appreciate you. We're after nine o'clock here. I just wanted to give you an opportunity and certainly appreciate all that you do, Tori. So we'll be behind you, of course, one hundred and fifty percent, and all that you do in our community. It means a lot. And keep your light shining because a lot of people see it, and it's it's helping a lot of folks through that. So, Tori, thank you for your energy and all that you do in in the Georgetown community. And we'll see you soon, Tori. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rob. Talk to you soon. Well, once again, that was Miss Tori Clark joining us this morning from Spa Lux. She always has such a wonderful message, and and we enjoy hearing from Tori and all of the fine work that she does. Friends, you know, this show, we have a lot of our commercial sponsors that are on Good Morning Georgetown. Now, if you're a nonprofit, we want you to be on the show. If you're a 501c3, we do a little bit of background work just to make sure because we want to protect the integrity of of everything that we do. We also want to protect the integrity of our sponsors as well as other nonprofit organizations. Uh, But look, we've got a lot of great nonprofits here in Georgetown, and, and everyone that we have reached out to or that has reached out to us Uh, We have tried to give them an opportunity to be on this show, and we're working with others right now that we hope to have on the show soon. But look, if you're a commercial business, you have an opportunity, just like Tori, to come on to this show. We have this show every weekday, Monday through Friday. Uh, I know that I say 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Sometimes we don't get started until 7.30 or 8. It just depends on how the day is going. But I'm going to tell you right now and just really once again encourage you, if you're a business, there has never been a better time than right now to take advantage of a lot of situations as far as discounts, as far as advertising opportunities. We have a platform that we are so blessed with to reach folks and to help promote your business and what you're doing. So if you're interested in that, we'd love to hear from you. All you have to do is email rob at hrngeorgetown.com. Again, that's rob at hrngeorgetown.com. We're going to work hard and continue to promote your business and help get your name out there, uh, just like Tori. And again, if you have an opportunity, please check out those gift cards that Tori has to help out not just her business and her, but her employees as well. She has a heart for others. And she just wants to be there and take care of folks. Friends, I appreciate you. Hey, join us tonight, by the way, from 7 p.m. to 7. Oh, I was about to say 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. That would have been 12 hours. It's from 7 p.m. to 
9 p.m. tonight for the third week in a row. It is the HRN Virtual Dance Party. Tonight it's being brought to you by our good friends at the Georgetown Beard Club as well as Mill Direct Carpet and Flooring in Georgetown. So I want to thank those two sponsors for helping make the show possible this week. Again, the Georgetown Beard Club, a nonprofit here in town who helps out this community. They said, look, we want to step up and we want to help out what you're doing. And that is so incredible. So it's going to be fun having those guys. So again, thank you to Michael Price and the Georgetown Beard Club, Rob Kitty. Uh, We want to promote them and the fine work that they are doing. And then also, of course, a flooring company here in town who invests in HRN as well. But more importantly, they're investing in the community. They've been here for a long time. It is Mill Direct Carpet and Flooring. I want to encourage you also, look, if you're a business and you're open right now and you'd like to make that known because maybe you need some help or maybe you just want people to know that you're open, Visit our website at hrngeorgetown.com forward slash open. Again, that is hrngeorgetown.com forward slash open. Fill out that form and let us know, and we will put it up on our website uh, as we have time to do that and let folks know that you are open. We're not in, look, we're not encouraging people to get out and, and go out and run around right now because our local officials and local authorities and even national authorities and national officials have said you need to stay in, in, in home as much as possible. But if you've got to get out, if look, you may have a, a very important necessity or a need. We want those businesses that have those opportunities to provide that need or necessity to you uh, to be able to know that they're open. So, again, appreciate you guys. We will see you tonight from 7 p.m. To, to, I always say 7 to 7, from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. tonight. Make sure to download the HIP Radio Network app. That is HIP Radio Network on your Android or iPhone smartphone device. We will be back on Monday. So make sure to join us on Monday. And I've got another really special announcement. Tomorrow on Hip Radio Network Georgetown, you want to tune in, especially tomorrow as well, because we have an all-new show that we are launching here on Saturdays. Now, it may be pre-recorded. It may be live. We're still finishing up the show and trying to figure out exactly if we're going to do it live or if uh, we are going to do it recorded. But nonetheless, an awesome show Now on Saturdays at noon, every Saturday, it is American Country Gold. I'll be hosting that show every Saturday from 12 to 1, and we're going to feature some of the best country music. We're going to start out this Saturday with 1980. We're going to go through the top 10 to 15 songs in the country music world back in 1980. Boy, there's some good ones on that list. Of course, Willie Nelson is on that list. Kenny Rogers is on that list. So you want to make sure to join us on the HRN app on Saturdays from noon to one. Again, it's American Country Gold, the new show here on Hip Radio Network, exclusively on Hip Radio Network. Friends, as I end every broadcast, I want to remind you today that we're not strong enough alone to make it on our own. We need each other. Provide a word of encouragement. Lend a hand to support somebody out there today needs you. Good morning, Georgetown, and God bless you. We'll see you later. Have a wonderful day. And happy Friday. We'll see you tonight at 7 o'clock. Take care, everybody.